in the midst of the poor old woman who had gathered together a dish of beans and wanted to cook them. So she made a fire on her hearth, and that it might burn the quicker, she lighted it with a handful of straw. When she was emptying the beans into the pan, one dropped with without her observing it, and lay on the ground beside the straw. And soon afterwards, a burning coal of fire leapt down to the two. Then the straw began and said, Dear friends, from whence do you come here? The coal replied, I will fortunately sprang on the fire. And if I had not escaped by sheer force, my death would have been certain. I should have burned to ashes. The bean said, I too have escaped from a whole skin. But if the woman had gotten me to the pan, I should have been made into broth without any mercy. And would a better fate have befallen my lot? said the straw. The old woman has destroyed all her brothers in fire and smoke. She seized sixty of them at once and took their lives. I quickly slipped through her fingers. But what are we to do now? said the coal. I think, answered the bean, that as we have so fortunately escaped death, we should keep together like good and lest a new mischance should overtake us here, we should go away together and repair to a foreign country. The proposition pleased the other two as they set out on their way together. Soon, however, they came to a little brook, and as there was no bridge or foot plank, they did not know how they were going to get over it. The straw had a good idea and said, I will lay myself straight across, and then you can walk over me as on a bridge. The straw then stretched itself from one back to the other, and the coal, who was of an impetuous disposition, tripped while boldly on the heavily newly built bridge. But when she had reached the middle and heard the water rush beneath her, she was after all afraid and stood still and would venture no further. The straw, however, began to burn, broke in two pieces, and fell into the stream. The coal slipped after her, hissed when she hit the water, and breathed her last. The bee, who had prudently stayed ashore, could not but laugh at this effect, was unable to stop, and laughed so heartily that she burst. It would have been all over with her likewise. If, by good fortune, a tailor who was traveling in search of work had not sat down to rest by the brook. As he had a compassionate heart, he pulled out his needle and thread and saw her together. The bean thanked him most prudently, but as the tailor used black thread, all 